Good morning. I'm Pastor Roddy Chester. It's July the 8th, and this is our necessary food. I'm reading for the book of Amos this morning, Amos chapter 8. The prophet is prophesying against the northern kingdom of Israel, and he is pronouncing God's judgment on them because of their idolatry. And it says <clears throat> in verse 11, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. And so, so God was telling his, his people, the, the northern people, in the, the northern tribes of Israel, because you have committed idolatry, because you've forsaken the Lord, because you won't hear the word, there's going to come a famine of the word. And right now I'm at a place where it's really dry. <clears throat> and you begin to see the effects of that on the livestock. You begin to see the effects of that on, on everything and the desperate need for some rain and desperate need for uh, some relief from this incredible drought. But God said for Israel, it's not going to be that kind of a drought. It's going to be for hearing the words of the Lord. Now, when we come to the New Testament, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, Paul is telling the young preacher, Timothy, he's, he's instructing him in what he's supposed to do, what he's supposed to focus and emphasize. And he tells him, he says, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. This is a preacher's job. His job is to preach the word. There's plenty of political commentators out there. There's pl plenty of storytellers. There's plenty of comedians, plenty of ideological uh, uh, thinkers, and, and, and there's plenty of all that kind of stuff. The preacher's job is to preach the word the objective word of God. Here it is. It's in the Bible. This is what the Bible says. Thus saith the Lord. But he says, for the time will come. So, so the time came in the days of Amos that God through his prophet declared, hey, there's coming a famine for the hearing of the word of the Lord. And you're going to look for it and you're not going to be able to find it. Well, Paul tells Timothy, a time is coming for you and I. He says, the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. They won't want to hear the truth anymore. They'll turn to fables, to stories, to mythology, and that time is coming. Paul warns us in the New Testament that that time is coming. A time when, when they want somebody who'll tell them what they want to hear. When somebody stands up with a Bible in hand and says, this is the word of the Lord, and they will intentionally turn away from that because it's not what they want to hear because it doesn't fit their sinful lifestyle. They want to hear something else. And so what they'll do is they'll go and they'll find them preachers who'll tell them what they want to hear. Who'll tell them the things that line up with the world, who'll tell them the things that, that tickle their itching ears, that, that, that appease their lusts, things that, uh, <clears throat> that, that line up with uh, what their lifestyle is, is hungry for and things that line up with what the world is teaching so that they don't, uh, uh, so they fit in with the world rather than being different than the world. Folks, we see it all around us. But take heart, because you and I have the opportunity. We have the Word of God before us, and in the Word of God is where we find truth. So I just want to encourage you this morning, uh, if you've given your life to Jesus, you're a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, His Word is true, John 17, 17. And you should pursue and run hard after Jesus. Um, listen to the Word of God. Read the Word of God. Be encouraged by the word of God because God's word is true and it is going to come to pass as he has said. I hope you have a great day. God bless you.